Today we were out walking and we came across the Combined Irish Regiment's Old Comrades Association, which I have to say I knew nothing about before doing a little bit of reading up on it. So I'm by no means an expert. Um, but the aim of the association is to preserve the names and honour the deeds of all the brave and loyal Irish regiments. And they hold an annual parade at the Cenotaph in June every year. So this is the first time I've come across this. Following the establishment of the Irish Free State in 1922, the five British infantry regiments and one special reserve cavalry regiment that were recruited there were disbanded. So on the 12th of June 1922, um, their colours were laid up at St George's Hall of Windsor Castle and they uh, kept forever in the care of the king at the time, which was uh, George V and his descendants. The disbanded Irish regiments were made up of the Royal Irish Reg Regiment, the Royal Dublin Fusiliers, the Royal Munster Fusiliers, the Connaught Rangers, the Prince of Wales is it Leinster Regiment, and the South Irish Force. During that ceremony on the 12th of June 1922, King George V made the following promise. I pledge my word that within these ancient and historic walls, your colours will be treasured, honoured and protected as hallowed memorials of the glorious deeds of brave and loyal reg regiments. I think that's just really poignant and quite profound, really. If you're enjoying my videos, please press the subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner, because I love bringing you updates on what's happening in central London. So you can see um, there are schools of veterans from the different Irish regiments which turn out to march to the Cenotaph every June. And you can see the sight of many regimental and association banners flying proudly in honour of the soldiers of all Irish regiments, past and present. So it's really quite a remarkable occasion.
number before God, and commends to his storekeeping, those who desire his judgments to his right to their counsel of war. Those who need his judgment, and all who have been to the right of the servants of my God. Wait so long. So you'll be hearing the last post being played and the great bells of Westminster Abbey chiming 11. And then there is a minute's silence. Notice how they have lowered the flags as a mark of respect and bowed their heads to remember. Before the march off, the national anthem is uh, played. Flags had been lowered as a mark of respect, and then they've been lifted up again. You'll now see them preparing to march off, and there's some wonderful music, so I'll let you enjoy that. They come straight past us, so they go a little bit further up Whitehall and then double back 
to come straight past us and it's really fabulous to see. The parade is always led by the pipes and drums of the London Irish Rifles Association. So they have supported this parade every year.
Well, it's amazing what you can come across in London. Um, that was really fascinating to, to come across and to read a little bit more about the history of it. I certainly don't know too much about it, so if anyone does, please do feel free to comment. And as always, thank you for your support and please do subscribe. I'll be seeing you soon. I wonder what else will be on the horizons. Bye.